You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. And now, TSPN's Amador This Week's Out and About. This local television coverage is proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort. And by Richard Forrester, Supervisor, District 2. And now, Amador This Week's Out and About on TSPN. You're watching the TSPN TV local coverage of the 2013 Dandelion Days right here in Jackson. Put on the Jackson Lions Club. We're here at the Pancake Breakfast. We're going to start there. We're going to meet some of the Lions Club members. And we're going to take you around Dandelion Days right into your living room right here on TSPN. We found flute player extraordinaire, Viviana. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I want to thank you for coming on AM Live. You you played the flute and had everybody in the studio just amazed. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to my concert tomorrow at the Brett Hart. Brett Hart? Yeah, but I'm loving Jackson. You know, I was supposed to go to Angel's Camp, but I stayed here. Oh. I'm at the National Hotel. <laughs> Couldn't be Beautiful. Better. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. And then the pancake breakfast. Right. Come on down, man. It's awesome. So how long are you in town for? Um, I, I I need to get over to Angel's Camp. <laughs> right. You gotta play. If you if you didn't catch her on AM Live, she um, uh, did a, a is it a song? Would you call it a song? Yeah, a piece. A, yeah, a piece. Yeah. Uh, and you called it the beatbox flute. Uh -huh. And it was a cross platform of two things that I never expected yeah, to hear, and it was yeah. incredible. Ah, thank you, thank great. you. Well, enjoy your time here and thank have a great you. concert. Thank you. Thank Love you. it. Bye. So we're here at the Lions Club Pancake Breakfast, and it looks like I'm gonna get some uh, some ham here. Yeah, a little ham. A little ham here. Great. There you go. And we're going to smooth down here, and it looks like the uh, perfect. And that's what I'm dealing with. Nice, fresh scrambled eggs. I see Roger Fat is here with the pancakes. We're going to come talk to Roger here. How are you doing, Roger? Good. Hey, how you can? Good. Making up some pancakes this morning? Right. You want some? Yes, sir. There you go. How many years have you been with the Lions Club? Oh, it's 25 or better, maybe. 25 or better. 30. I always see you here flipping the pancakes. Yeah. Tell me where the money goes when the Lions Club raises money like uh, that. Scholarships and local uh, events and, like, you know, putting uh, lights up on the football field or whatever, something like that. So all the money all returns the returns back into the community. It all, it all comes back to the community. Great. Well, thanks for your service with the Lions Club, and thanks for this breakfast. All right. <laughs> see you, Karen. At the Jackson Lions Club Information Center, we've got Paul Molyneux, Jr., and we've got Dave Carlson. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how many years has Dandelion Days been running? I think Dandelion Days has been running for approximately about 37, 36 about 36 or, 36 or 37, 37 years. And Dave, you were one of the originators, correct? Well, not of the event as a whole, but yes, as in terms of the Lions Club's involvement, yeah, I was one of the group that convinced the club to take it over 31 years ago, and I, and I can't get rid of the job. <laughs> well, you do it so well. Can you tell us uh, how it actually did start? Um, well, the, the very beginning of the event started with a group of antique dealers, Dick Tone and others, down in the Bogan Alley area there, and uh, they went on a buying trip to Ireland uh, for antiques, and they found that they were, they were there during St. Patrick's weekend, and some people like themselves, uh, uh, um, antique dealers, brought their stuff out of their shop, out into the area, and, uh, and then donated part of the proceeds to charity. So they thought, we can do that in Jackson. They came back and kind of started it, and it kind of grew. Yeah, it must have grown so large that then the uh, Lions Club intervened. Yeah, when it got too big for them, they were a small group of people, and they could see that the event had some legs to it. And uh, so they approached the Lions Club and said, maybe you guys ought to take this over. Now, the, uh, all of the food vendors here today are nonprofits, is that correct? All local nonprofit groups, that's right. And uh, many, of the, many of the groups that are here, this is also their major fundraiser of the year. Right, right. So it's kind of a uh, good community event put on by the Lions Club, a great fundraiser for local nonprofits, and a, a great time for all. Glad to see the uh, sunny weather this year. Yeah, it was nice that if Paul said he was responsible for ordering the good weather. Yeah, so, uh, I, I was. <laughs> and I, keep, I, keep, I keep pinching myself. Am I going to wake up from this dream? and it's going to be storming. And so I, every, about every 10 minutes, I pinch myself and realize I am awake. And this is really happening. Yeah. Paul, recently uh, named to the Jackson City Planning Commission? Yes, I was named by the City Council to the City of Jackson Planning Commission in December. And we've had one meeting with a second meeting coming up Monday night. Okay, and what are the duties of the Planning Commission? The Planning Commission oversees all the any proposed building or zone changes or things like that that come before the city. Great. Well, it looks like they uh, chose the right guy for the job. Well, thank you. I hope so. <laughs>
Guys, have a good time, and uh, thanks for putting on Dandelion Days. Thanks Thank you. We found Steampunk extraordinaire, Dennis Coon. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Feels good to be here on the steps of the historic National Hotel for Dandelion Days. Oh, it does. Good, great view, great crowd, good weather. Right, and uh, just an amazing job. We've been through here a couple times with the cameras. Uh, it seems like all the reviews that you see online about the National Hotel, everybody just raves about it. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Uh, everyone's saying good things about it. Right now, we, we called you the steampunk extraordinaire. You were actually working on uh, creating one room here in the National that is uh, to a steampunk theme. That's correct. We do have room 209. It has a TV in there that I designed and also a lamp. Okay. Can you tell the viewers that aren't aware, steampunk is like really gaining ground here in the United States. So what is it? Give us a, a, in a nutshell what steampunk is. Um, it's kind of clashing old with new. So... Uh, you take a, a new TV, like a 32-inch TV that I did, and you dress it up to make it look like old-style, you know, Victorian. Right, a little bit of uh, iron work and uh, some gears and... That's right. Little things like that. So you're actually the, the head maintenance guy here at the National Hotel? Uh-huh. What does that, um, what, what does your job consist of? Uh, everything you look at, I got to maintain. The <laughs> painting, the, if it's broke, I got to fix it. All right, you got uh, it. Well, this is uh, Dennis Coons, a great third base, base player on softball, I got to say. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Seen that before, and uh, <laughs> working here at the National. Thanks for talking yeah. with us. Thanks, Cam. People walking around the streets here at Daniel Ideas running into Rich Farrington, uh, District 3 Water Agency Director. Good morning. Right, good morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, so, nice day. Uh, yeah, it sure is. We were just talking with uh, Paul Jr., Dave Carlson about the weather and really happy that the sun's out today. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, it's uh, nice not having rain. All right. So you, uh, we were just talking off the camera about the uh, recently the water agency had some sort of uh, safety award or what? What was that? Yeah, that was a refund from our, our kind of a rebate from our insurance company, one hundred fifty-two thousand dollars for a, a good safety record, basically. In fact, uh, two years ago they got about a hundred thousand dollars back. So this is really nice because uh, it just shows that we are doing something right. Some people wonder about that. And uh, and and that money goes back to uh, where the rate you know the rates uh, repairs right. basically right. and so a reimbursement so that's very nice. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever received a uh, check back from an insurance company before, so it must be something must be going right. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, and the, the water agency is doing some other really neat things, I think. Uh, I'm real excited about a potential uh, revenue generator. By uh, We've got two major gravity f feed lines uh, in place, and we're looking at uh, putting a uh, hydro inline in the pipe to generate electricity, which would help to pay our uh, electricity bills. Oh wow! So and by the grav, the water running down by gravity, it can actually uh, turn create electricity. Generator. Right. Wow. You know, water agencies uh, north and south of us have uh, uh, these kinds of projects that generate power and help to pay their expenses. So. Uh, the consultant that uh, is suggesting this to us says that we'll have a positive cash flow the f starting the first year, so I'm pretty excited about that. Great. Well, good news here from Rich Farrington, District 3 Water Agency Director. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Just a little side note here. We tried to talk to Leland Ruddock and got turned down, so mark this as the first time Leland did not want to be on camera. We got, we got put on hold. Something else, uh, you know what it is? There's girls down here. That, that's... Interesting booth here. We found Jerry. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, good. I almost couldn't hear you over that sweater. <laughs> right. <laughs> Interesting uh, pieces here. Tell us about them. They're just wine holders. They're very unique. Um, salt and pepper shakers. We've got, you know, berries, dragons. Just uh, uh, bath salts over there. Right. A little bit of home decor. Is that yeah. kind of popular at these kind of events? They are. They There's not very many of them that have them. So I try to get unique stuff. Right. Well, it was unique, and that's why we stopped here. Have you ever been to the Dandelion Days before? No, this is my first time. Oh, great. Well, the weather's good. It is. It's great. <laughs> and we're, uh, we're happy about that, and I would imagine in the next hour or so, you're going to see plenty of customers. That's what we're waiting for. Okay. Thanks we're for talking with us, Jerry. Thank you. To Bruce Sherwood here with uh, Sunny Cal Solar. How are you doing, Bruce? I'm doing great, Cal. How are you doing? Yeah, it seems like the uh, solar business is really popping nowadays. It is. We're uh, doing Volcano Telephone. They're uh, moving forward to... Uh, try to eliminate all the fines and penalties that are moving forward this coming year. It's uh, uh, pretty incredible. The uh, It's called peak day pricing, where they're raising the price of energy from 2 to 6, 800% on uh, event days, which are peak day power days. So the, uh, the ramification for any business, November 1st, they went on what's called the 
uh, time of use. And the problem is the, the bean counter never gets the message. So the, uh, the PG&E bill is paid uh, and the bill goes in the right. old file. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so are there still uh, incentive, like tax incentives and rebates and things that come along with uh, getting solar? They're huge. They're, uh, the tax, it's a tax credit, not a deduction, but an actual tax credit dollar for dollar. So Which is better than a deduction, correct? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, it's uh, the, uh, on the commercial, they have what's called the sold depreciation. So that's a, another vehicle. And also there's some tax, uh, some rebates from CSI still left for the uh, solar. So it's a good deal. It really is. Right. So if the, if the sun's going to be out, you might as well be collecting energy from it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys are here locally. Um, you got a website you can tell us about? SunnySteadyCalSolar.com. Okay. And it's a, uh, we're a local company. We're based out of uh, Valley Springs. We have a Jackson, uh, Jackson location in uh, Pine Grove, California. But we've done uh, everything from uh, Carmere, Vino in the Shadow, Runquist Winery. We're doing Volcano Telephone now right. and a, a multitude of uh, uh, residential projects. Uh, the, uh, uh, there's, there's no excuse not to use right. the sun for energy. Okay, let's uh, real quick give out your phone number. 209-256-2300. Call anytime, any day. Great. Thanks a lot, Bruce. Good to see you. Okay, Cam. Thank you. Take care. You too. With Naomi Pent. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, you have some custom uh, burlap pillows, right? I do. So everybody nowadays is a fan of Pinterest, so I saw the idea on Pinterest. <laughs> yep, and I also have a space down at the Emerald Forest. That store is just so up and coming on Main Street. It's fantastic. Sure. I would highly recommend checking it out. Sure, yeah. And yeah. Christine Well. So yes, looks yes. like um, a little bit of furniture. Again, the rustic look, yeah. and it uh, looks like you're doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. And then my mom here is making custom pet beds. So okay. who doesn't have a dog that has ripped the stuffing out of everything? Right? <laughs> right. Let's talk to mom here. Your name? Debbie Miller. And Debbie, how are you this morning? I'm fine. How are you? Great, great. And uh, these are uh, custom beds that you make. Uh, it seems like the pets really get spoiled, right? Of course. If you can't <laughs> spoil your children, you have to spoil your pet. Right. And this, who do we have here? This is Mr. Buxley. Mr. Buxley. And, <laughs> He's very friendly. And what, what breed is Mr. Buxley? He is a miniature long-haired dachshund. Oh. Yes. Cute uh -huh, little yeah. dog. My idea was I was constantly buying pet beds that the dogs chewed up and chewed the stuffing out. Well, not anymore. Right. Now there are custom PVC pet beds okay. with duck cloth that they can't chew up. Really? Uh-huh. So it's, uh, what's the material again? It's duck cloth. Duck cloth. And what actually is duck like cloth? canvas. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you do the uh, printing or is it painting that you do? It's actually printed on the material itself. Okay. And then the legs are underneath painted that you just attach to the bed. Sure. And it's like a piece of furniture in your home. Great. Well, it looks like uh, there's something for well, everybody here at Smith. Dandelion Dandelion there is. Whatever you want. I am. Very excited about it. I'm so happy to be <laughs> in the Doc community. Have a great and weekend. And you too. All the great Bye -bye. efforts to save our lands and waters here. Can I ask you where you were before you came to the Foothill Conservancy? Well, I was in Illinois. I was working for a statewide river conservation group, Prairie Rivers Network. But I am originally from California and spent a lot of my growing up years here. Here, so I'm very happy to be back home. Okay. We had a, a issue maybe a year or so ago with uh, East Bay mud wanting yeah. to uh, increase the capacity of Part E. Yes, um, that was a very long protracted battle, but fortunately, uh, with efforts of ours to um, show them that there were alternatives to doing the expansion, uh, the board decided that it wasn't the best decision for more water at this time. So we were just thrilled that they kind of came about and saw that there were other ways to get the water they need. Right, and there was a lot of efforts on behalf of the Foothill Conservancy and their supporters to try to, you know, at attack that, what they were wanting to expand. Was it in 2040? Yes, exactly. They were trying to develop the management plan for water sources up 
through 2040. You have a booth here at Dandelion Days, a little bit of literature, and I see Randy back here. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, sure. sneak in here and say hi, Randy. Hi, how you doing? Good, yourself? Not bad, not bad. Seems like you're in the same booth, uh, having the same information and trying to get the word out to the public every Dandelion Days. And, and we continue meeting new people that haven't heard about it, so we keep at it. Yeah. The, uh, we see a lot of this uh, wild and scenic McCallamy. Uh, tell us in a, uh, in, a, in a few minutes what, what you what you're mean there. What do we mean? Well, um, there are already over a dozen dams on the McCallamy River. Okay? In between all those dams, we still have stretches that look like they did 200 years ago. What we want to do is make sure that 200 years from now, there's still stretches like that where families can take their kids and they can enjoy a river. Because let's face it, there's there's lakes and there's rivers, and they they feel different. And, and there's an experience and there's there's childhood memories from from hanging out at a river with the rope swings and the, the canoeing and kayaking and tubing and all those kind of good things. Um, if you leave it up to the people that build dams, well, it'll be endless dams. We want to save a little bit so that uh, 200 years from now, kids can still go down and do the things that you could take your kids down to do right. today. And I would imagine, like, there's, you know, generations and generations that have, have gone back to those same camping spots on the rivers and, and had those, you know, campfires and roasted marshmallows, and, and they would like to, you know, take future generations to show back where uh, great-grandma and grandpa used to camp, too. Exactly. I, I've had people come by here, and it's like grandpa has taken his kids and his grandkids down to Middle Bar Bridge, and it's it's almost a family tradition to go down there fishing all the time. Right. And um, so so there's, it, 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 it goes back forever around here, as long as we've been here. Uh, and um, we want to just make sure that there's there's still some river for future generations. I've seen some of the rafting shots before. Where does the rafting actually take place? Uh, well, we are working on, well, not we are working on, but there is an effort underway to have commercial rafting on the McCallamy River starting up uh, hopefully as soon as this spring. Uh, and that would be starting from the from the end of Electra Road, Box Beach area. Um, they bring people in in vans, put them in the boats, um, and run them about five miles downstream to the Middle Bar Bridge where they take them out. Um, they're still in the, the planning stages of, you know, how many trips per day, uh, all the rules and regulations under which the commercial rafting would would operate uh, but if we're lucky they'll be doing it this year and which means you could go and go rafting in the morning and then hop out and go down into San Andoa Valley and go wine tasting in the afternoon <laughs> it's, it's going to be great for the tourist that sounds like two great. things I'd be interested in <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> great Randy well have a good weekend and thanks Thank for talking you. with us take care Oh, and I, maybe I should put a plug in. Uh, Merzlach Signs made these uh, these banners and the one up here. So, uh, yay, Merzlach Signs! All right, hey! <laughs> Thanks, Randy. <laughs> Found a Lions Club member. Your name? Michael Presson. Michael Presson, you're with the uh, some sort of historical group. Tell me about it. <laughs> try it. So, so many faces, and I try to remember it all. You know, the uh, Amador County Historic Railroad Foundation. Okay. Out of Ione, California. Okay. And I'm the uh, secretary for the Railroad Foundation. Mm -hmm. And our goal right now is to acquire the uh, Union Pacific Rail Line from Ion to Galt, which is a slow, tedious project that we are working on. Our goal is to uh, run in um, passenger excursion trains, uh, locomotive pulling passenger cars. We have a full-size passenger car right now, a private car, that we are restoring. It's an old Southern Pacific Railroad passenger car, number 125. That is sitting down in Merced right now. We are in the works of trying to get it trucked up to Ion and uh, do a full restoration on it. What was the rail yard or railroad between uh, Iona Galt used for when it was used? It was used for uh, bringing supplies to Amador County. It was the Central Pacific Railroad originally, here, let me move up a little bit. The uh, Central Pacific Railroad built the line in, let's see if I can remember the exact date. It was, um, it's a centennial line. The line was completed in 18, um, I don't remember the exact date. 1876 is when it was completed okay. into the Ione area. Great. But the tracks didn't go all the way to Ione. They only went as far as Carbondale. The reason why was for the rich clay in the Ione area. Oh, the okay. rich white clay is what Central Pacific was built the railroad to haul the clay down to the valley. Sure. Well, the city of Ione wanted the tracks into Ione. Well, Central Pacific said no way. But they turned around and said, if the city of Ione can fork over half then Central Pacific will meet the other half to bring the tracks into town. Great. Within six months, the tracks were brought into downtown <laughs> Ione, which was downtown Ione where the depot is now. Gotcha. Where the junior high is. Right. Okay. 
a little bit of history lesson here in uh, Dandelion Days. Well, and good luck with your project. Absolutely. Thank you. You guys have a great day. Inside Thanks. the new location on Main Street, Swenson Shoes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? And how are you guys this morning? We're good. We're good. 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 A lot more room here at the new location. Yes. A yes. lot more room. Okay. A lot more room. Uh, Still doing the boot repair? Still doing the boot repair in the back. Got a lot of more storage in the back to give us a little more room to work, work around. Right. It seems like maybe at your uh, previous location, the repair area was, you were a little small there. It was real <laughs> small. It started to find cracks and corners to stick things in, so was, the more room makes it real nice. Yeah. Uh, great display area here. Uh, kid, looks like you had kids' shoes, work boots, uh, summer shoes. Looks like it's uh, time to get the uh, sandals out. Yes, time. they're slowly coming in. We have more uh, that are available. I mean, more coming in. So Sandals are coming in every day. Yeah, okay. every day. But your end of the month, we should have just about all of them in. Right. Looks like we've got some dress shoes over here. We do. Uh, Western hats, it looks like. A little bit of uh, everything here at Swenson Shoes, now on Main Street. Yes, yes. We're glad to be here on Main Street. Okay, and what are your hours here? Um, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30. Saturday is five, 9, nine to, to 5, five. and Sunday, 10 to 3. Great. Well, yeah. it's a uh, great little store in here, and um, congratulations. Thank you. There was Wolf Hine here at Hine & Company Books. Got a display okay. outside today. Yeah, um, things we've had in the back room and you know they accumulate over years so <laughs> this is the time to haul it out and it's great people are just eating it up. I always love to Wonderful. see VHS tapes. Look, I mean, I've sold a ton of them already. <laughs> For 50 cents each, if you still have a VCR, which right. you can still get. Sure, how can yeah, you get wrong? Great. Yeah, it's so great. So, are there, you think there's still uh, issues of uh, VCR that they never really made the DVD, so you can find some of those uh, oldies but goodies? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they're definitely like the old classics. They, they did just didn't do DVDs for those. So. Right. Um, so, if you really are a purist and you want to have it and you don't want to go on you know the Netflix type stuff uh, yeah it's, it's just fun to have and the price is right I mean we in the store we have them for a buck a piece <laughs> alphabetized right. out here they're two for a dollar there's some of our overflow sure uh, vinyl LPs still popular coming back yeah. we, you know we're uh, we're remodeling uh, one of the rooms on the first floor for music and we're gonna have thousands of LPs I've sold a lot of LPs today um, there's a lot of them out there and uh, at a dollar a piece how you could, can't beat it. Right, how could you go wrong? I know yeah. Tommy, who's filming, he's a uh, big guy into vinyl. He, oh, yeah, vinyl's coming back. I mean, it's that new generation loves vinyl. I've it actually just heard had that different sound. I've actually even heard newer songs where they put a little bit of a scratch into the, oh, into the track to make it sound like it's, hey, uh, yeah, you know, it's vintage. Right. <laughs> That's so great. Vintage CD. Some yeah. uh, good old, uh, what are these, magazines yeah, here? The old ones from the 40s and 50s, the Western magazines. Right. From the yeah. 1955. What, what would a price on something like this be? A buck. A buck. Right. Yeah. Where do you where do you collect or do you go out and like shop? These or? things, when we buy books at estates, a lot of times we'll buy the whole estate. And so we have, you know, we have a bit of an antique store in part of the bookstore. So some of that goes there. The excess has to go out. So a couple times a year we get to sell it out front. Right. Yeah, which is fun. Yeah, it's always fun to... I yeah. like to rummage through things. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's not <laughs> as much rummaging as there used to be in Dandelion Days. Ten years ago, there was a lot more of this. Now, just the way the economics of it are and, and, the, and the booth costs, you know. Right. So, But it's still, some of us still get out and, and uh, put some of our stuff out. Sure. Well, there's that, that group of us that just likes to pick up things that we That's like. Right. We don't necessarily need to bring home, and but we bring them home. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of things here that I bought at your garage sale a couple of years ago, <laughs> like a painted coconut, and it, that thing is now out here. So things right. kind of smooth. Some of us still get out and, and uh, put some of our stuff out. Sure. Well, there's that, that group of us that just likes to pick up things that we That's like. Right. We don't necessarily need to bring home, and but we resell. bring them home. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of things here that I bought at your garage sale a couple of years ago, <laughs> like a painted coconut, and it, that thing is now out here. So things right. kind of smoosh around. Right, you like it, <laughs> then you sell yeah, it, and you trade it. Okay. You know. What the heck? Great. Well, Wolf, thanks for talking with us. Very and good, it's uh, Dandelion Days 2013 right here on TSPN. It's just wonderful out here today. Yeah, great. Yeah. Take care. Found the Duck Race booth here, and we're here with Ann. Good morning. Good morning. Love the hat. Thank you. Like the van a little more than the hat, though. Oh, okay. Not for sale. <laughs> No. Duck race tickets are for sale. Okay. Tell us, um, the duck race is, a, is a, a big fundraiser. Yes, it is. Okay. And it's for local nonprofits? It's for local nonprofits. Okay. And how, you, you buy a duck, are they 
five bucks? You buy one duck for five bucks or five ducks for 20 bucks. Okay. Ducks and bucks. Right. Bucks for ducks. Right. Take, <laughs> takes place at the uh, Mini Provost Park and the Sutter Creek. Yes. And it's a uh, kind of a day-long event, a lot of fun for kids, fun for the whole family. Yes. And uh, you come out and see if you can win. Uh, is it ten, uh, how many thousands of dollars? It's up to eight thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, great. And um, I remember I've, I've attended many of years. One year Frank Halverson won and gave the money back, and I will never forget that. That was a, a great gesture on his part. Yes, it is. And someone, anyone else who wins, they can take his lead. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that wants to follow Frank, they're 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 yeah. they're welcoming that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> great. Well, uh, you're selling ducks here today. Yes, uh, we duck are. race is uh, looks like Saturday, April 27th. That's right. Okay, so uh, where can people find ducks if they don't find you here? They can find ducks at the Accra Amador County Recreation Agency office at the county building on Lower Ridge Road, 10877 Conductor Boulevard. Perfect. First door on the left. Great. Well, and we can't forget that the uh, Recreation Agency has the hub upstairs from Heinen Company and TSBM. That's right. And tonight is a, a comedy show featuring Gavin Myers. We can't wait for that. That is really going to be a good time. Only seven bucks. Seven bucks. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Local good guy here in the county, Chris Floyd. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, we see you at events. You're a, a reserve officer. Yes, I've been with reserves since uh, 1993 here. Wow. A long time. Uh, keeping the, the crowd under control here That's today. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can see the really rowdy crowd at 10 o'clock in the morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Must be, you know, it's a, probably fun for you to get out and say hi and see all the, everybody you know. And it is. It's nice to see all these faces in the sunshine because last year, as you know, it snowed on us, I think. We had nobody here. You could shoot a bullet down Main Street and not hit anything. Well, this morning I was uh, looking for an umbrella, but I guess I didn't need it today. Maybe I for a sunshade. Right. Yeah, I think a, a good sunshade. That would be good to have right now. So, uh, what else is new? Not a whole lot. No? No. Spending some time up in Incline Village? I have been up there, uh, though not in the last month or two. Hadn't been a whole lot of snow up there. We've had a lot of weather like this lately. Right. So I'd like to get another foot of snow up there and right. go up there and ski maybe one more day. Right. Then a little bit of uh, summer season, maybe? A little bit. Yeah, the summer would be nice up there. Just yeah. like it is here, though. Sure, sure. Yeah, Tahoe's always a... Just a, a, fun, a fun little getaway. Fun little getaway, right? And good for you to be able to. And how about you? Up there, um, I yeah, I don't I don't get to stay up there, but I like to go up there for the afternoon. Good, you know. I, I'm well, a, you're working hard, doing all of the things that you do. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, staying staying busy and, and trying to. You know, my son is 16 now. He's about as big as you are. I know, and I, growing quickly. I, I know. I, I, I tell him, I said, well, I, when we talk eye to eye, now I have to look up. <laughs> like, what's happened here? And he's still growing, my friend. Oh, for a few years. He's only 16, so, yeah. Good kid, though, and yes, he is. proud to have him. Good. Well, Chris, thanks for talking with us. And, Enjoy uh, your day. Keep this uh, crowd under control. Yes, today. well, I'll do my very best. <laughs> Thank thanks. you. Enjoy your day. You too, bud. So we finally got to catch up with Amateur County Stud Muffin. We, I, I was figuring, I'm like, what could Leland be more interested in than talking to TSPN <laughs> on the camera and it automatically came to me it was girls. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Cameron. <laughs> Tell you right. See, you crew, you're, would you get your car over at Jackson Tire the other day? Yep, sure did. I'm watching you. That's good. Glad someone has cameras. <laughs> what are we getting done over there? I had new brakes put on front of my car. They had somebody test drive it after they put your brakes on, and I didn't know it, was, it wasn't you. And I'm laying on the horn at the guy, and he's looking like, what did I do? His name was Brian that was driving my car. Right. See, Leland even knows who's test driving his car. You're not missing a lick, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not missing a lick, Cam. Still up there at uh, the Rancheria gas station? I sure am. Yeah, good place I wore, up there. I wore Sunday to Thursday. Yeah, so go in and... See Leland, you'll you'll hear him before you see him. I, sometimes I think. That's right, Cam. <laughs> Anything else, Neil? Nope, that's it. That's Except it? I changed my gun. New magnet. I call myself Chick Magnet. You are the Chick Magnet. That's right, Cam. There's a comedy show tonight up at the Hub. You gonna go? Yeah, I'm not sure by there. I'm telling you what. There's a there's a girl that hosts for uh, the show named Janelle Murphy. I heard you on TV yesterday morning. Yeah, I, I bet you'd like Janelle Murphy. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Leland, keep it under control. I will, Cam. You too. Okay. The Amateur County Historical Society office. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. You? Yeah, real good, real good. So you're, you're at 148 Main, and you... Um, you're here, uh, you have Mind Model Tours is one of the things. Yes, they're uh, Saturdays. We have them at 1030 and at noon and for uh, special reservations also. Okay. 
and so they're uh, running today. We did a sign for you recently, museum information. Can you give us an update? Uh, yeah, we're uh, the society is currently doing uh, the ADA and seismic. Uh, seismic is all completed. The uh, inside is being all put back together, and we're hoping to have it open to the public in June. Wow. I uh, run into a, a couple different people and there's some things going on and a lot of stuff uh, hoping this spring that's going to come around. Maybe some uh, rafting and maybe some uh, museum and yeah, we're looking forward. We're going to finally have the uh, 4th of July parade come back around. Okay. So uh, lots of good activities coming up for this spring and summertime. Great, great. Uh, hours here at the uh, office? Uh, right now we are open, it's all volunteers and we're open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And basically the office is open five days a week whether it's the JBCA keeping the office open or the Amherst Community Foundation. Okay. Uh, looking for new members, looking for volunteers? Always. Looking for new members, new volunteers, uh, anyone interested in historic Preservation of Amador County, yes. Right. Okay, and the phone number here? 257-1485. Great, Bobby. Thanks for talking with us. You're welcome. Thank you. We're here and we caught a, a bubble-blowing machine here. And we have a father and son in your name? A Fletcher. Fletcher, and what's your son's name? My son, Jacob. Hi, Jacob. And this is? This is Miles. Miles. How old are they? Uh, Jacob's four and Miles is two. Wow. Found a little, uh, little toys here that are uh, keeping their attention. Looks like they're having fun. Yep, I, they are there. Good boys. Are you here locally? Uh, yeah, yeah. I grew up around here, but we're living in Sacramento. Wow, that's a lot of fun, guys. You guys have fun and have fun at Dandelion Days. Want to say bye to the camera? Want to wave bye? We found Councilwoman Marilyn Lewis. Good morning. Enjoying the sunlight. Right. The warmth. Right. Finally. Yeah, so. it's, it's a and good it's thing to have. Good day. And yeah. it's good seeing you, Cam. You too. So, so what's um, anything new with the council? Anything up and coming? We're in the black. We're in the black. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you need to say. That's it. <laughs> right, that's it. We're a happy city. Yeah, it was so. um, uh, probably a few years of, of tough times, I would guess. Back in the, yeah, it was. Yeah. In the 90s. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we've, we've got an excellent city manager. Yeah. Mike Daly's just an excellent job. Penny Pitcher, but he's done, that's why we're so good. Right. And right. so lucky. Well, it's good to hear that a, a small city like Jackson can be in the black. Yes. Because that's, um, you know, probably pretty tough nowadays. Well, we've kept our enterprise funds where they belong. Right, right. And we don't and rob. Seems like we've got a, a good council. You've been on the council for a number of years, mm -hmm. a couple different uh, terms. 20 years. Has it been that long? Been that long. Oh. You were just a little kid. Right. <laughs> It was knee high to a grasshopper, yeah. right? Right. <laughs> Great. Well, good. Good okay. to hear good news from the city and uh, good, time good weather. And it's a good time. And uh, enjoy your day. Give your mom my love. Will do. Okay. We're here with the marshmallow shooter man, and these are uh, non-evasive weapons, I would imagine. Oh yeah, they are. Can't get hurt with a marshmallow, and that's a small <laughs> one. Uh, they work really good. Okay. Watch this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're great for right. grandkids. They right. work. They work beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. We got a gun, yeah. gun, and a snack all in one, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, you got it. You got it. Air powered. Uh, how much it, are they? Well, we're selling them for two for five dollars or three dollars each. Great. And actually, the parts there's more in parts than there is what we cost. But we're right. trying to get rid of. Them. Finish your Columbia when you're done with it. Yeah, yeah. You can use the parts after you're done. Yeah, it seems uh, so, very reasonable. Yeah, it works good. Okay, well, uh, don't uh, don't take anybody's eye out. <laughs> Can't do it. You got glasses on. You're in good shape. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Looking at some bracelets here. Looks like we've got a full plethora of uh, of sayings here. We've got. Um, these and we've got those. I guess that's for a tennis player. Here's here's two that kind of go good together right here. I think. Let's see. I think. I think you think so. I think I like those. Here's another one for you. Got a couple different kinds of one, two, things here. This one's for uh, ribbed for pleasure. I guess. Huh? Man, that would be a. That's for a horse. Scott Berrien and your uh, girlfriend here. This is Eileen. Hi, Hi Cam. Eileen. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Yeah. You got the rocking the Love Knuckles shirt here today. Yeah, that's right. We're playing tonight at the Annex in Sutter Creek. Uh, really excited about the show. Um, 
Yeah, but yeah. just enjoying dandelion days. We got some nice weather this year for a change. You know, it's outstanding. So, are you is Love Knuckle the only band? Are you still doing the acoustic show? Or? Um, I do the acoustic show about once a month. I've kind of scaled it back right now. Love Knuckles the main thing. Wayne and Norm are great guys. We have a lot of fun and. You know, we're just hoping we can play a lot around the uh, Gold Country, Amador, and Calaveras County in the uh, upcoming months sure. and years. It's if you haven't seen Scott play guitar, amazing. I, I, I must say, just, just no, no, I'm, I'm serious. Uh, I, I, I've come out a number of times to see you, and, and you, you, you play um, one of my favorites. You do a version of Billie Jean. Yes. That uh, I, I was listening to it before I knew that that's the song because it was your version of it and I was into it and I was like man I really like this tune and then my friend was like that's Billy Jean and I was like well, I, I was hooked yeah you can tell I sound a lot like Michael Jackson <laughs> right, so it's right, just right. it was just such a natural right. fit for me to do you're that you're a little more tan than he yeah, was yeah right? exactly <laughs> <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't help that yeah. Scott you're a uh, love knuckle on <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't help that. Yeah. Scott, you're uh, Love Knuckle on Facebook? Yes, we are. It's um, just, I think it's just Facebook.com, Love Knuckle, and there we are. And um, like I said, a great bunch of guys. Um, I'm really hoping it will become a staple up in the gold country. We have a lot of fun with this band. Yeah, well, I, so I got a, a feeling with the following that you have, that's going to take place. Well, thank you so much, Cam. Great, Scott. Have a good day. All right, you too. Thanks. Okay. We're here with District Attorney Todd Reeby. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, doing a little service for the Lions Club this morning? I sure am. Okay, what are we uh, serving up this morning? Well, we're serving up. Would you like some more coffee in that? or? Uh, yeah, just a tiny bit. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, we got, all, we got everything. We got some vodka and cranberry juice, some vodka and orange juice. Um, we have coffee drinks with Irish cream, um, brandy, or Kahlua. Okay. Um, and we have Stella uh, on tap. Wow. 1554 on tap. And the fine award winning wines of Todd Pickens and Marilyn Hoops of Carmere, Shandell Valley. Wow, there you go. They have a Petite Syrah and they have a, a Vigenet. Perfect. So putting this little uh, court area together for uh, Dandelion Days. Kind of a good little occasion. Uh, Dan's kind of you know, you were with us last year. You, you remember last year? I mean, every, I think everybody's trying to forget last year because because it, we last year we had rain, snow, sleet, and hail. Right, all um, of the above. All all in the same dandelion days. Uh, but uh, we, you know, the potential of this, I think was there. I mean, people who saw the music, heard the music, and and uh, we were on the other side, recognized that if we ever had good weather, this this area here ought to be hopping, right? Right. And I'm sure once the day goes on and more people show up, it, it, you're going to have a, a hopping group. Yeah, I think so. So you're uh, raising your uh, money here for the Lions Club. That's right. And uh, where does that money go? Yeah. Well, it goes for scholarships for uh, um, the, the two high schools and independence. Uh, it, it goes for continuation for scholarships. Uh, it goes for sports events, uh, not only with the schools, but uh, uh, sports events that are, you know, the, for instance, the uh, C uh, Team Sierra Volleyball Club, uh, the girls' softball. Uh, it goes towards the hospital. We purchased equipment for the hospital before. It goes towards oncology. It goes towards kids uh, that re need cancer treatment. It goes towards people that need that problem problems with their eyes and need surgery or glasses. Um, uh, it goes all over the world for disaster relief. Um, so, you know, it, we try to, obviously, when you see the results in your own backyard, it means a lot more. Uh, I'd say most of our money stays in, in Amador County. But uh, you know, we've given we gave to Hurricane Sandy victims. Uh, we gave uh, um, uh, when the when the tsunami hit. Uh, you know, our club gave. Right. Yeah. Uh, good, good for you. So also the third of July fireworks every year. Put on. Every year. No admission fee to watch those. No. No. And and, and we try. You know. The concessions and the sales of fireworks uh, finance that. Maybe we make a little bit. What we do make, again, goes back into the hopper, and it goes back to the community. Every year we raise over about 100000 110000 Every year we give it out. Right. Yeah, uh, so it's a, it's a, you know, money in, money out um, to make Amateur County a, a, a better place. Our motto is we serve, and, and I think that 
these are fun events. Right. <laughs> people people grow up with these events. I know you grew up with this Absolutely. event. You and, and it's part of your fabric. It's part of uh, of what makes Amador County special. Did you run the Buns and Dubuque race this morning? No, oh. no, no. Ever since I took on this gig, uh, uh, it, it it keeps me from running the race. Although I did run very early this morning. There you go. How often do you run? Every day. Every day. Going on three years now. Oh really? What's the longest distance you've ran? Marathon. Oh. Wow, good for you. Not for a while. Uh, <laughs> last one I ran was uh, 1991, California International. Yeah. But uh, I do run with a group of Amador runners. We're called the Amador Striders, and we do the relay. And uh, we're we're old, but we're good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always trying, right? Yeah. yeah. Good for you, Todd. Well, thanks for serving with the Lions Club and putting this on, and it's a great event, and everybody's having a good time. Well, you might notice that sign when you came in there, because I think... <laughs> I think you made it, didn't yeah, I think, you? Yeah, I've heard that once or twice today. Yeah, I think Thank really you very much for that, by the way. Yeah, it's a lovely sign. You're welcome, Todd. Have a great day. Yeah. Seattle, very okay. unique. Wow. You can make a big pose. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Now, two shapes. Each shape does different types of bubbles. I have a ladybug. Now, were you all, when you were a kid, did you like to blow bubbles? Yes, I did. Yeah. I, I, I was sure a fan of it myself. That one is really interesting. So we, we have all together four shapes. Okay, what was the little gun you had here? This one is the uh, bubble blaster. They shoot the little bubbles out like this. Also the 3 double battery power. Does all the work for you. Yep, comes uh, in the package like this for uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah. Uh, I want to show you um, also smaller bottles over here. Okay, we got really fun. So a lot of kids, they like it. You go like that. Look. Oh, yeah, I've seen those before. Those are cool. Yeah. Try this. You throw it down. Okay, let's throw it. Oh. Ooh, in, the, in the middle of the dish, one more time. Right. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Oh. Almost like a reforming egg or something, right? Familiar face, the TSPN, Kenny Simone. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Working up at Safeway? Yes, sir. I've been there ever since 2011. Yeah. Good to see you up there. You got a great personality. I always like coming through your check stand, saying oh, hi, you. and uh, okay, shooting the breeze really with like you. I like your personality, too, man. Right. So, uh, how's life treating you? Life is treating me pretty good. I'm a student over at ITT Tech over in Rancho Cordova. I'm uh, currently a straight-A student oh, with 100% wow. perfect attendance. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was your uh, did that run in your family or is this something new or? Um, it's actually something completely different. I'm actually majoring in electrical engineering. Oh really? Yeah. And how many years does that take? It takes roughly a year and nine months at ITT Tech, so okay. a little bit under two years. Okay. And what kind of job will you be searching for when you graduate? Hopefully something in alternative energy, because oh, I really want to make this world a greener, healthier place where everyone can have the right kind of energy. Well, up and coming people right here from Amador County. You may have uh, seen Kenny Simone on TSPN. You were a, uh, a news anchor for a, a quite a long time, and we uh, enjoyed you there. Oh, thank you very much. I really enjoyed my time there. I learned so much, and just an experience that I love to experience, and I love to experience it again. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's just amazing the kids that that came through there, and 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 the the careers that they ended up with. Um, maybe they realized they didn't want to uh, be with me, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Everybody moved on, and now they're these uh, electrical yeah. engineers, and they work at Channel 3, and they do all these things because you don't want to end up like me. <laughs> well, I like to end up like you. I mean, that'd be awesome, man. Okay, Kenny. Good to see you, bud. It's good to see you, too, dude. Have a good day. Familiar your face, the TSPN, Mary Molina. Hi, Kim. How are you? Welcome back. Are you keeping it under control today? Oh, no. I'm looking for your mom. We're going to race some hell. <laughs> Yeah, she's down by the music over here on the side of the oh, national. Oh, well, I went to the main event. She wasn't there, and so I was going to go to the national. If she wasn't there, I was going to call her number. She didn't pick up. I was going home. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Liking the do. Looking good. Oh, thank you. Wait till you see Tuesday. I'm going to see Rachel Andrews again. Is that who does your oh, style? Rachel, yeah. That's Rosie's daughter. She's amazing. All right. Yeah. Do doesn't Rosie have a few daughters? Like five of them? I don't know, but the one she does have that I know is really outstanding. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. I hope you're watching this. <laughs> Love you. I'll see you Tuesday. Okay, Mary. Enjoy Dandelion Day. Oh, and where's your lovely Tennille? You know, she's with her uh, children, and I'm uh, working, and we're, you know, I'm, i got to work today. Where's Gavin? He's on his way down. He's got the comedy show tonight. I know. At the I know. It's going to be so cool. Are you going to show up? Gavin. I hope so, if I can yeah. stand by that time. Yeah, 7 o'clock. 
back at the hub. Okay. We found a nice little face painting. What's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa, what a pretty face painting you have there. Did you get that done today? Yes. Yeah, is that a piece of candy you have there? Uh -huh. Wow, it must be a fun day to be a kid, huh? A little bit of face painting, a little bit of candy, a little bit of a little thing in your hair. Good for you. You should tell them we got a booth, huh? Yeah, what, you know what your booth is? We've got a booth which is called the Arc Amateur, and we are selling birdhouses and different stuff down there. Okay, where are you located? Actually, in the Wells Fargo parking lot. Okay, we'll stop by in a little bit. All right. Thank you. you. A lot of buzz going around Jackson about the hub here at the corner of California and Maine, upstairs from Heine Company Books. Tommy, let's take a walk and check out the hub. We're here with Tracy Towner, always laughing, always having a good time. That's what I like best, right? <laughs> just have a good time, right? Right, exactly. We're at, we've been talking about the hub on TSPN, and we just been talking about it on the street, and that we're actually inside the hub, and just the, um, you know, there's not an event going on now, but we can see the the opportunity for event to be taken. Oh place. yeah, it's going to be great. It, it, this is a bingo setup. We have all kinds of setups. This is about a hundred people. Look how easy it is to fit 100 people in here. Yeah, no So problem. people have events and stuff they want to put on. This is a great place for it. It's going to be open um, starting next Monday, which is March something, 19th or something. March 18th. It'll be open from 2 to 5 for junior high kids. It's free for them. And then we'll be offering classes and all kinds of um, interesting things to do. We're looking for line dance and swing dance teachers. If okay. you know of anybody who wants to do any of that. And then I've got some other... Um, other classes. We've got a Zumba teacher who wants to come in and teach Zumba in here. So it'll be a really, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's taken a while to take off, but you know, it's right. really starting to, right. starting to grow. The interest is really starting to grow. Tonight you're having a comedy show. Oh gosh, I can't wait. Tonight, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. I got, I got Gavin, DJ Gavin, who's no longer a DJ, now he's a comedian and DJ. Right. But comedian is first, right? Right, right, I think so. I, I love his truck, by the way. Did you do his truck wrap? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had okay. fun with that. So if you don't know, it's the truck wrap with Gavin on the side right. of the truck. That's Gavin's truck. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, um, I'm so looking forward to that. I think we're going to fill the place, and, and I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah, and I've uh, the host that he has coming here from Elk Grove, Janelle Murphy. I've uh, seen her perform. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is she awesome? <laughs> good, good. Yeah, and she will catch you off guard. Oh, uh, marvelous. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a hard one, too. Um, the, and, and then Betancourt, the yes. headliner, oh, he's, Betancourt, yes. he's very funny, actually. I've seen a couple of his, his little gigs online. Yes. I don't know any of these people that Gavin lined up. And it's, it's a fundraiser for the Hub. This is an ACRA project. The Recreation Agency has taken on this project at my push. And, um, and they are backing this project for a few, few months until it starts to make a little bit of money or until it looks like it's just a big drain on the finances and then we have to turn it around. I'm looking for money, donations. It really is a youth center. Um, Stan Liquids owns this building and he really wants to see it youth oriented and, and I, I, I agree with that but there will be adult events like tonight. Sure. And, and the difference is, you know, tonight's comedy event will be a non-alcoholic, a non-alcohol non venue. Right. So I guess there's, there's other ways you can take care of that, you know, but there will be adult events like tonight. Sure. And, and the difference is, you know, tonight's comedy event will be a non-alcoholic, a non, non-alcohol venue. Right. So I guess there's, there's other ways you can take care of that, you know, and right, right down the street. <laughs> that's right. We'll be selling sodas and waters and popcorn and hot dogs and that kind of stuff, right. but um, we'll, we'll let everybody else make the money off the alcohol right. sales and things like that. I would, I would imagine people will show up uh, well uh, lubricated. Well, well I'm, I'm sure as long as people show up, right. you know, <laughs> that's, that's my hope. So we have some big, big plans for this. We, you see the homemade movie screen. Right. Um, Mary Olmsted made that for us. I, I went ahead and spent $150 on material as opposed to $1,500 on a real screen. Right. We got some nice blackout screen and then she took some time and made that for us. It does hang down to about six feet off the ground and, it, and we've got a projector that fills the screen which is nice it tightens up and you've shown the Rocky Horror Picture we show, Show we showed the Rocky Horror Picture Show and the Avengers and um, we show Acre Clips every now and then it's pretty fun and you, we play video games we um, actually the real fun one is the we the one the we dance one where you got four people with the controllers and then you have like 25 people behind him, everybody's doing the same thing. Right, right. It's a pretty neat deal. Um, there's offices in the front. You're more than welcome to go through. They're not, it's not ready for prime time yet because we just keep working on it. It's a work in project, in progress, I mean. We have 100 acres of parkland to maintain and it's spring and so I want right. to make sure that we get those taken care of too and this is a long term ongoing project. Do right. so. you have a fashion show coming up? We do have a fashion show in April. I think it's April 13th and that should be very fun. I, I, aren't you 
the announcer? I think I'm I think you're the MC, Gavin. <laughs> I mean, Cam. Cam, I think you're the. Hold I on, let me get my mohawk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> I mean, he's a comedian. You, can, well, yeah, you, can't, yeah. you can't laugh at the comedian. If, if you can't take a joke, get out of the business. <laughs> Wait, that's what they say to me all the time. <laughs> anyway, so um, that that'll be that'll be then and then April 27th is the de deck race day and Acra puts on the deck race over in Sutter Creek but we're also opening this for the hot jazz party and there will be a band up here for the hot jazz party April 19th it looks like Ro Richard the Rockstar is going to come in and do oh, a show nice, for us thank nice. you very much oh, for that nice. and if you have a show or a venue that you want to put on this is the place for it and it really is the place for it we've got a pretty good four, four way speaker set system if you have other stuff that you want to bring in it, it's easy we have a roll up door it's pretty easy to get things in and out of here and I'm I'm telling you yeah. I'm, Cam you it's know, coming alive it's going to come it's going <laughs> to you know by 2015 <laughs> hey, well, no, 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 I want it sooner than that, let me tell you. Well, we're going to start tonight, let yes, me tell you. Yes, we're starting tonight, that's right, we're going to break it in. Okay, well, great to have the hub here right in the center of Jackson, and oh. great to have all your energy behind it. Thank you very much, and it's, it's nice to have support from people like you, and, and there's a ton of people that support what we're doing here, so I really appreciate that as well. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll see you tonight. All right, we'll see you tonight, thank okay. you. Thank Bye, you. Tommy. Dakota Brown, Dakota, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. You might know me, but I'm friends with your mother on Facebook, yeah. so I've been following up. I see the El Camino. I yeah. see a lot of uh, yeah. academic things going on in your life, uh, sports. Yeah. And uh, recently, you just made a trip to Washington, D.C. Tell us about that. Uh, well, recently, I was chosen as one of five out of the nation uh, champion for change through the Center for Native American Youth. And uh, they flew us out to Washington, D.C., uh, all expense paid trip, and it was just amazing. Okay. Uh, anybody in particular that you got to meet while you were there? Uh, well, I met Senator Byron Dorgan, who uh, started the Center for Native American Youth with his less leftover campaign money. And uh, the very last day, I actually got to meet President Obama and shake his hand. And so. Uh, what an honor that would be. I, I have to tell you, that would um, not many people can say that they've no. got to uh, shake the hand of the President of the United yeah. States. It was just a little overwhelming, but it was just <laughs> right. awesome. Yeah, well, congratulations yeah, on that. And I, 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 I really don't know what to say besides uh, <laughs> that's just incredible yeah. that you're able to do that. Yeah. So you're, the, the group that you're with here is called the... Uh, well, this is, uh, we're making Indian tacos for uh, Indian education okay. and uh, the Amador County based. Uh, but recently I started a group called NERDS, which stands for Native Education Raising Dedicated Students. And uh, it's kind of based off of the Indian education program and they've really helped me start it. Right. You're a uh, freshman at Argonaut High School? Yeah. Okay. What are your plans? Uh, you get uh, college plans? Uh, right now, I would like to go to Stanford University. That's where my brother is currently at. And uh, I actually just recently found out that I was accepted to a youth program at Stanford University for three weeks uh, studying uh, uh, legal topics. Great. So. Well, you're seeing the future of Amador County here and uh, actually got to shake the hand of the president and that is just uh, amazing to me. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Good for you and um, you. Uh, good luck in your future. Thank you. I'm Thank Amador you. County's local comedian, Gavin Myers, right here on the street wearing green That's today. Right. Absolutely. Got to. I'm Irish. Yeah, the hat's green, the balls are blue, blue, and that's <laughs> just the way it goes when you're a comedian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Drinking a Guinness, you know, hitting the... Got to be. You know, Got to be. It's Irish time, right? Uh, yeah. We'll get you guys having fun, enjoying the sun? Yeah, we're doing First time in, what, like 25 years? Right, yeah. I was going <laughs> to... I, well, I thought you could sell umbrellas, whether they were protected from rain or for sunshade. Either way would work. Or to poke people that won't give you enough room to walk by. <laughs> right. Probably could do something else. Right. <laughs> Comedy show tonight? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Upstairs. Not that this will be seen before then, right. but hey. Hey, we're actually going to view the show well, this tomorrow at 12.30, so <laughs> it's uh, right, not like the traditional uh, yeah. two years so, later. So yesterday at 7, I did a comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. So yeah, let's talk about the comedy show that you did last night. Uh, well, actually, the one I did last night was horrible. It was a supposed uh, sushi restaurant, and I had to run some wiring. And uh, I went to, to gorilla tape it down, and as you know, gorilla tape will stick to dirt. Right. It would not stick to their floor. 
Yeah, don't I, get there. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. So you're bringing up uh, a couple of comedians from the Valley? Absolutely. My buddy who's a national touring headliner, Mike Mike Betancourt, hilarious guy. He's a wild man. And uh, my good friend Janelle Murphy's going to host and, and open the show. Right. I uh, was talking to Bo Gilman earlier. He said he's showing up. Oh, good. That gives us some insurance then. Right. He said he won't sit in the front. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine why he wouldn't want to sit up there in the front. It's the splash zone. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. He's like, what was it? It was uh, Gallagher used to hit the watermelons right. and people brought the stuff. And... Well, like we talked about blue earlier. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wow, here we go. On the street, <laughs> Danny Landes, 2013, my buddy Gavin Myers, touring uh, multi-countries. Absolutely, just got yeah. done doing Ensenada, Mexico. Right. Uh, I've done everywhere, Hollywood, uh, from Seattle all the way down to Ensenada. Right. So, well, not everywhere. I haven't right. performed in, in a couple of bathrooms between here and there. But. Right, he's working on that. You know what he does when he gets in there? If you'll know, he's in there, too, because under the stall, you're, he'll start <laughs> tapping your foot like this. <laughs> and once, once you get the tap... Even though like, I'm not a senator. Once you get the tap like that, he wants to tap something else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, Gavin, always good to see you. You we'll, too. We'll see you tonight. This All is right. the 2013 coverage of Dandelion Days right here on TSPN. Bring it into your living room with Cam and Gavin, Tommy Fox on the camera. Thanks for watching. Salute. TSPN! You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Amador This Week's Out and About has been proudly brought to you by Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort and by Richard Forrester, Supervisor, District 2.